Okay, I just want to show you what I've got going on outside. Um, I started laying out my drip system. This is what I had last season. And it's going to have to extend out another 10 feet or so because I'm growing more plants, so I'll need to extend these. So each row is going to have support two plants. So they'll be side by side. So anyway, they'll be like, you know, a pair down each line. So I'm looking at supporting 80 plants on these. And these are what I'm going to use. Uh, this is a 10 gallon um, poly bag. This is a 7 gallon. I'm going to put some mix in there to see kind of how it how it feels. Um, so I've got 50 of the 7 gallon and 25 of the 10 gallon. So um, yeah, this is a mess, but it's it's going to come down. There's a little T here, so one part will go down that way, and then the other will come over here, and then go down the other row. This is my Pepper Guardian. He watches over everything. I started tearing up my beds here. I'm going to put overwinters in this spot. This is mostly going to be my salsa garden. I have to give an update on uh, salsa garden. It's a couple of the tomatoes. So this is a poblano, California wonder bell, and a Craig's Grand jalapeno. These are some overwinters. It's my peach boot. Uh, seven pot Rennie chocolate. Actually got a lot of pods on it already. This is a Devil's Heart. And that's got a few little pods as well as my um, Bahamian goat. These are all my hydroponic plants. This is my aeroponics slash succoponics experiment. It's growing really well. I've got a time lapse going so when that's done, at least after a couple weeks, it's only been going for about a week so after a couple weeks I'll post the time lapse. My multi-site five gallon container. I really need to get these guys planted. That's a Jay's Ghost Peach. It's a red brain strain. Um, it's an ahi pineapple. It's another black vitale. Another mustard maruga brain. This guy back over here is my carbon arrow. I'll do a update on it on him by itself. It's doing really well. Just the big black mama. It's doing really well too. I've been pruning back a lot as it kind of grows over over these guys. And I'm thinking about I'm posting another kind of video I can I'll pull this out and show the roots. The roots are basically fill this entire container and I want to get this out in the real sunlight. I don't know the best way to do that with handling the roots. Like I don't feel like I can just stick it in the ground or um, you know, a container potting mix. But thinking about doing a mega cracky system and I have a plan for that that I'll share with later. Here's my Jamaican hot chocolate. You can see quite a few peppers on there. I tried some of these. These I've got a few ripe ones off of it already and so far they're not very hot but they taste really really good they're very sweet so imagine as the plant gets bigger more mature the pods probably get hotter too this is my coffee container water culture I really really need to get these guys out of here this is an RRC 420 traded Maruga scorpion um, so it's got some weird leaves, but it's a chocolate primo reaper. 
and this I think is a Bula Brown SLP this beast here is my Jay's Ghost Peach Scorpion pH is way off on this guy the other day when I corrected that and also pruned some of the new stuff's growing back but it's still looking good there's my other plants I normally have under the fluorescence I've got I've been giving them more and more sunlight each daily they're up to about four and a half hours now um, from my love pepper really like this I got the seed from Samilla's yeah, I still don't know really what what it is um, there's not a lot of information on these even with species it is but these are some of my newer ones that are still young yeah, it's an orange brain strain This one a lot's Trinidad Dog Brown. Got from Italy, some seeds for that. Chocolate Brain. It's another Chocolate Brain. Oh, here's my High Fantasy has. There we go. Yeah, so. It's growing quite a bit too. Uh, I'm gonna pull this out here, but there's my surrogate. It's got some little pods. Here's my sugar rush peach. It's got some peppers on there too. That's also getting really tall. It's Lula Brown SLP. These are my one of my paper lantern cross with Butch T yellow. And nice stems on those. Let's see it's Ahi Charapita. Another Sarea da Namapi. Here's a lightning mustard hab. It's another orange brain strain. A few of these got a little bit of burn. I think that's my Indies, West Indies red. But the new leaves look fine. So that typically happens. Some they've been hardened off at the same time these others. Some peppers just seem more susceptible. But the new Foliage always comes out okay. Genghis Khan's brain. And here I've got a couple big like mamas, caramel maruga scorpion, orange tie SSE. Ahi Cherapita and the one that I just called an Ahi Cherapita actually is that's a uh, it's an apocalypse scorpion sorry this is a peach congo there's a full shot of those um, and uh, I plan to post regular updates on my grow and projects I'm doing so if you if you want to keep up with those or you know like these videos please subscribe to my channel and um, thank you for watching